everybody, Decker coming at you with another little party bus update. Oh my gosh, have we got some stuff done? I just haven't been recording on it. If you notice, I've got this speech thing still. I just, I hate to watch myself on video. But we're still getting things done. If you notice, the back wall is taken apart. That's part of the process. So let's turn the camera around. We'll show you what we got going on. Stop. All right, so what we figured out is this foam. I have enough of this that we'll definitely be able to cut this up into uh, little blocks. And get all that. That's actually it's a little bit stiff, but as soon as you start sitting on it and everything, it kind of loosens up. So this is going to be a good padding. And so you can see. I'm a little short guy, so I'm almost, almost touching on it. I can do that. Touch. That's what we're going to use, and uh, in not too long, I'll be able to pull all these out, take them back in the house, preferably when it's raining or whatever. That's what I'll do. But take these in the house, and I'll cut all these to match those. And then those will be ready to cover. And at that point, I could probably put the carpet down here with the uh, J channel for the lights. I gotta run the lights yet, but at least I, I'm figuring out right now where I'm gonna draw holes and how I'm gonna do the wiring. But so it, it this really won't take long. Put the carpet up here, J channel up, the lights get these all cut, get these covered. Back here, we'll do all this green without all this in place. That way then when we put this on the top of it, it just merges in. So we should do all that probably green up under there. So I still have to make my seat backs. That's something that I haven't done yet. Aside from going around and doing some fine tuning and everything, for the most part, the layout is done. Now it's time to take it all apart and start cutting. So there you go, in a nutshell, that's what we've got going on. Um, we're just going to start, uh, probably start taking things off and then you have to go around them with a, uh, uh, like a sanding disc wheel, a flat disc, and uh, deburr all the edges, that way when you wrap it, you don't have the, the little funky edges sticking out on you. So I we'll have to do all that. And uh, basically once everything is out, then I'll take the spray can around and I'll hit everything that could possibly be seen after everything's all covered. Do the floor, do the carpet, the uh, J channel, do the seat foams, wrap those, do green in the back, do I think black vinyl up under the side, and then all this. This is all going to be covered with the croc stuff. And, uh, whatever we got to do up in here. I'm thinking the croc stuff would probably be cool up there, but I don't know. And he is talking about putting uh, some type of curtains or something up under here, which is cool. I hate the look of bus windows from the inside. Here's something else I did as per croc's request was to extend this step out a little bit more and make a little bit different platform. So this one here is still a little bit on angle, but we'll put some grippy tape down on that or whatever. And, uh, you know, put a face on the uh, front on the front of this, but it does look better. All right, so as you can tell, we got that other step uh, extended. It's got more surface area now. I have went around with black spray can and uh, done all my little trim work. I mean, obviously, you still have more to do up there at the edge. You know, these these little areas right there. Like I say, these, 
These are hinged. So we do have a compartment. This is going to be a core. So there's that. Sound system's going thumpity thumpity. Obviously, I have pieces out right now to uh, get ready to cover those. So, won't be long, but you know, obviously, most of the stuff I've got going on is going to be material covering, which is in the house, which is fine because it's a little warm out here. But, uh, We'll get her all taken care of. Sent Croc a, uh, an update yesterday because I haven't done the videos here, you know, the way I should. But uh, sent him a little update, so I'm sure he'll want to come back up here and check it in a week or so and kind of take a look at everything. Make sure it's exactly what he's looking for. So, hey everybody, Digger coming at you with another little party bus update. And it's been a while since I uploaded a video, so let's show you what we got done. All right, so there's all my seats. All the foam has all been cut and figured out for the seats. Now all I gotta do is take those and get those wrapped with black vinyl. And uh, we've got some green vinyl to do and some crocodile material to do. It's gonna be pretty neat. Stop. All right, so what we're doing right now is I'm getting the uh, the LED lights in that goes up there The ones that go up underneath there and the ones that go up underneath there Now at this point, I've actually already got them ran All the way down and around So the next thing is I'm going to drop down and I'm going to do this one down here Do it all the way around I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do the LEDs around here or what or I'm going to break it or what uh, I am thinking about putting a little hole right back here in the top of the subwoofer box and I'll silicone that up and everything but these LED lights that are down here they can go right through that which means they can show up through here and down there because the lights would be shining downward so that's a thought and I don't know if I'm going to do something with LEDs that run up in here I might bring them down and run them around those speakers or something which if I do that that means I have to do the same thing up here in the, in the front so we're going to have the uh, LED strip will come up in here and I've left just enough room that I can put that stuff through it but at that point I'll have a each one of these has a uh, give me a second here oh, duh I already got one out each one of these LED strips has a connector on each end so you can daisy chain these together so if i decide that i want to do that i'll just daisy chain right into this one to do around that speaker obviously i've got that tv out right now that goes on the back wall and i've got both of the this side tvs out uh, i did order the uh, black vinyl wrap material to cover up the back wall and the sides where the screens are not going to show so when that gets here in the old days I used to just take a spray can and paint the glass on the inside that doesn't hold up very well so vinyl wrap material is the next best option to put on there so I'm going to get the, all these LED lights ran today get them all hooked up and everything uh, that way we like I say this one when it comes down it'll go across behind the wall so it's like well if there's LEDs behind the wall why not light them up so that's why I'm thinking about going around the speakers because it'll just be an easy drop 
to come out of there, go around the speaker, cross around the speaker, and then reconnect back into this strip. The, the strips are five meters, which is 15 feet. So we've got enough. Obviously, I started this one right there, so it has a connector right there that I can tap into. But that 15 footer, it runs all the way across. It runs this far. So I have that much extra that I can drill a hole and, and run through that. That way it lights up the inside of the subwoofer box. Like I say, we've got this one's hinged, that one's hinged. This one has the cooler built in, which I did that yesterday. So there's a little bit of a latch down here. Unlatch that, and then you can open this up. I'm gonna read it, have stuff laying on it. That way you can pull the cooler to clean the cooler and everything. So that's how that works. And then the seat will sit over top of this. So you won't even know this is there until you raise the seat up to expose this, which this will all be covered with uh, the, the, the same green fabric or vinyl stuff that's gonna be back there in the back. It would be over top of these and you know the the seat bottom will be hinged and it'll have a, a, another latch next to this one so you have one latch that undoes the seat itself and another latch that does the seat bottom the framework if you want to say that and that way then you can raise that to clean the core, replace it, remove it, whatever, put storage in underneath of it and all that. And we'll also have an access door down here so that you can put some stuff up under there. So between that under storage, this storage, that one flips up so that's got all this storage up underneath of it and the fender well and everything. Um, this one lifts up. He's got now the heater is behind this, so that'll give you access to part of that. And uh, then when you go over, uh, these three are hinged because that's where the amps and all wiring and all those dreaded capacitors are underneath there. And then up here, we've got the battery right down here in a battery box already, and it's all hooked up and all that stuff. So that's what we got going on for right now. So we like to say we've ordered the black stuff for the windows. Um, I gotta go up and get some more black spray can paint to go around all the other areas that I haven't hit yet. And uh, we'll go run all these LED lights, get that stuff hooked up and uh, we'll just continue on. So that's what we got going on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, which is pretty hot out, but they, they said it's supposed to rain around six o'clock tonight. So we'll see what happens with that. Might have to shut that. <laughs> so for right now, that's all we got. So we will catch you guys on the flip side and we'll see you in a little bit. Thought I was gonna say something else, did you? <laughs> gotcha. See you in a little bit. All right, everybody, so I just discovered that uh, I thought I was videoing, but I had the video set on time-lapse. So it kind of just fast forward through everything that I recorded. So you may not be able to listen to that. What I'm doing right now is trying to peel this back. The tape's a little finicky, but I'm going to pull that back a little bit and get it started because I don't know if I'm going to do this or not later, but in case I decide to run this J-channel around this edge, I want to have enough LED light to go around that. So I need to pull this back this far because it's going to go around here 
go across and then I'll make the junction back in this one. So for right now, we need to pull this back. Don't let that stick to anything. You guys can't see it, but I've stuck this in my mouth so that I wouldn't lose my cut spot. Okay, so if we go around this way. extra we're going to tuck this up somewhere so that I can tie the next one into it and daisy chain it down the road all right so what we're doing here we've got this LED that's coming out here and dead ends right here that's already got the uh, four pin prong on this side each one of these LED strips has comes with a four prong on one side and none on the other side. So, but you know, like this one, I can't put those together. But they pop right out. So you take those out and you match up. There's a little bit of arrow right down in here. You can't see very well, but you have to make sure that those are plugged in arrow to arrow and not backwards. If you get it backwards, it just won't light up. It doesn't hurt anything. It just won't light up. So make sure you get those right. And you can also go off of your color codes. Because if, if you've got a compatible light strip, the color codes will match. So you'll know blue to blue, red to red, green to green, black to black. So let's get these stuck up here. And we'll continue on. These are a little, little weird when you uh, start out getting, getting these to start. Well, that one was easy, but usually that's kind of a bear. So peel that back and just stop. Line these up. Put these in. Get my eyeballs away. Now a lot of times I'll put uh, black tape or something around this. Just you know, because these are jiggling while you're going down the road, so eventually they can come unplugged. So, before it's all said and done, I'll have that all wrapped up electrical tape, or I'll loop it around or something and uh, put a zip tie on it, just so this doesn't shake apart later. So, now we come around, we gotta get this squeezed in the J channel. Got that up in there. Now I can come up in here. Now I can come up inside here. Since that's poking out there, I can come up inside to run this down and take this and put it all. Uh, if I have to groove this or something like that, I can do that. But we'll just tuck that away right in there. That way, that connection is safe. So, let's continue on down the line. Get it out in the center there. Now notice, I left a little bit of the sticky sticking up. It's because sometimes the first little bit of this edge doesn't really want to stick to stuff so I just leave three-fourths of an inch or whatever and continue on after that because that first little bit 
It's no good. Time to go down the line. Push that up in there. I'm kind of centering that thing so so, you know. Ow. I think I just cut myself on plastic. Put water on and do all kinds of stuff. And it just puts up where I've got these little things stuck everywhere. We've been using my van as a booster seat because I'm short.
We'll catch you later. Digger is out. Oh! And hey, YouTubers, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and maybe even that little ding ding bell thing. That way you get updated and you know what's going on right after I do it. So uh, tune in. There's more to come. Party starts here.